Some users are still reluctant to upgrade their iPhone software to iOS 11, since it still has some issues that haven't been fully polished out yet. But with features like the newly updated control and notification centers, we're not turning back. It gets even better if you own a set of Apple's AirPods. With iOS 11, you now have two additional options for AirPod double tap controls, next track and previous track. This joins the existing controls of Siri, play pause, and off. To customize the AirPods after updating to iOS 11, open settings on a connected iPhone or iPad, then choose Bluetooth. Then find your AirPods in the list. If they show up but say they're not connected, open your AirPods charging case and they should instantly connect. Then tap the I button to the right. Now choose left or right in the double tap on AirPod options. I personally use next track on the right side since I'm right handed and will be changing tracks more often than anything else. I use Siri on the left side since it's the only way to adjust your volume without grabbing your phone. I don't use the pause and play option since your audio instantly pauses and plays whenever you take or put an AirPod in and out of your ear. I do, however, choose that option whenever I'm listening to podcasts since I don't need to constantly change tracks like I do when I'm listening to music. Going back to the AirPod settings, you can instantly change the name of your AirPods or set the microphone to always use a specific side, but we recommend leaving it in auto. Some users may not like the auto pause and play feature that comes with automatic ear detection, so you can turn that off if you'd like. If you want to temporarily bypass this feature without actually turning it off, simply use your fingertips to cover an AirPod's sensors after taking it out of your ear. There's also some really useful Siri commands that work great with AirPods. You can tell Siri to lower or increase the volume. You can say volume maximum to play at full blast. You can even specify the exact percentage of volume you want by, for example, telling Siri 50% volume. You can also ask Siri to play a specific song or playlist, or turn shuffle on. My favorite Siri command is find my AirPods. This is extremely useful if you're missing one of them, but it obviously won't work if the battery is drained. If you want to learn how to set up and use that feature, click the card above. Thanks for watching guys. Hopefully this video helps you gain some control over your AirPods. Let us know which double tap AirPods options you use in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, like it and hit that subscribe button. Also, check out our price guide, which makes it extremely easy to find the best deals on Apple products updated daily. Be sure to follow us on social media and we'll see you in the next video.